that would force North Carolina sheriffs to hold inmates for ICE is now headed to the governor's desk. This issue has been controversial in Mecklenburg County with the sheriff refusing to honor those detainers. Reporter Tina Terry is live with the threat that some representatives are making if the governor refuses to sign this. Well, yeah, this bill really could impact our sheriff's office here. It just passed the House a few hours ago, and tonight lawmakers are warning the governor, saying it's in the best interest of everyone to sign this bill into law. A bill that will force Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden to comply with ICE detainers is headed to the governor's desk. Now lawmakers are encouraging the governor to sign it into law. It would be incredibly disappointing if he does not. I, I think there'll be some considerable political backlash uh, from citizens across the state. For months, ICE has criticized Sheriff Gary McFadden for non-compliance with ICE detainers. Last week, we told you about Oscar Leonardo. He was deported in 2006. Then ICE says he illegally re-entered the U.S. again. After his return, he was arrested, accused of sex crimes against children, but the jail released him after he made bond, despite ICE's request to hold him. Mecklenburg is the only one that's doing this whole uh, bond reform. Nico Rogers, a local bondsman, said right now it's difficult for bondsmen to know if an inmate has an ice hold if that inmate is coming from Mecklenburg County. All these other uh, counties outside, nah, they're, they're standing still with that ice hold. They come in, they put that ice hold on them. They, they, they will put the ice hold on them, for sure. You will know for sure. Mecklenburg is the only county that you can go on the website right now and it won't say whether it's an ice hold or not. Yeah, the sheriff did not talk on camera to us today, but in the past he has said that he's disappointed in this bill. He said that he was elected with a clear mandate from the public to stop fulfilling these voluntary ICE detainers. And he also said that this bill erodes the sheriff's constitutional authority and takes away his ability to set his own policies in his own county. Back to you. All right, our Tina Terry live tonight. Thank you, Tina. The bill also says, though, willful failure to comply with this law could lead to a sheriff being removed from office. The governor has said that this bill violates the Constitution, and so far, no further comment from his office today.